Hello, my name is Dr. Shilpa Saxena, Chief Medical Officer at Forum Health. On behalf of all of our providers, we wanted to give you some information to prepare you for the upcoming flu and cold season. So whether you live in Florida like myself, or you live up north where you might not be seeing as much of the sunshine, there are some things that you can do to prepare yourself to be able to have less infections and really have less downtime as it relates to getting sick. I'm gonna tell you what our level one approach would be. This is something that I would recommend just as a daily immune support schedule. I highly recommend you consider the Forum 4. It's four supplements that really will boost your overall well-being. It's foundational, these Forum 4. So number one is Mito Multi. This is a blend of vitamins and minerals. Consider it your multivitamin, multi-mineral. And what it will do is specifically empower your mitochondria to boost and fuel your immune system. You can start by taking two of those before 2 p.m. because they tend to also give you energy. You can go up to taking two twice a day, morning and lunch time. Next, probiotic 25. Whether you're taking an antibiotic or not, it's super important that you have these beneficial bacteria in your microbiome. So taking one capsule a day works. Then we have Inwell Omega. Omegas are anti-inflammatory, so they keep our immune system tolerant, less reactive, which is what we want so that we don't get uh, other unnecessary hyper responses to things that may occur to us in the season. So one to two fish oil omegas a day with food is best. Last but certainly not least is Inwell D3 with K2. This is a powerhouse. Data show that this helped us through COVID pandemic. Getting your level to 60 to 80 is the goal for most functional medicine providers. That usually means taking one to two capsules a day with food again. So that's your form four level one immune boosting regimen. But let's just say you're the person who's prone to a sinus infection or you always get a cold or maybe you work in a place that generally has more germs rotating around the environment. Whatever your reason, there are two additional supplements that you can add on to your base Forum 4 to up your immune power. So number one, it's called Inwell Immune. This is loaded with extra zinc, D3, K2, quercetin, NAC, all these things, again, are gonna power up your immune system just to take it to another higher level so that you can prevent getting sick. Number two, another supplement to consider, is called Immuno-G. Immuno-G is kind of like uh, passive soldiers that add to your immune kind of fortress. So as you know, when uh, mammals are young, we get the colostrum or breast milk from our mothers, and that gives us this passive immunity, basically the immunity of our mothers. So this particular supplement is bovine, meaning from a cow, source colostrum, and you are definitely getting these extra boosts of immunity. And the recommendation for each of these supplements is to take two capsules a day. Be mindful that your vitamin D level or your vitamin D dose, excuse me, will increase by adding in well immune. And just to keep that into account while you're checking your levels and hitting that goal of 60 to 80. So that was your level two support to just boost up immune strength whenever you need it, especially with this upcoming flu and cold season. So here's the deal. We taught you about level one foundational supplements. Level two are extra supplements you can add on, especially if you're prone to getting sick during that cold and flu season. But here's the thing, you can try your hardest and every now and then a virus or a bacteria gets in and starts to take hold. So if that occurs, I want you to consider these level three supplements to have on hand to use as needed. My favorite to have in the medicine cabinet is Virex. Virex is full of ingredients that you probably might be taking in single dose forms, one of which is elderberry extract. Now, when we say extract, that means there was a lot of elderberries that were put together and you get the most potent version in a smaller capsule. So Virex is generally dosed two capsules every two hours while you're awake. So a maximum of 12 capsules per day. And then you can repeat that for one to three days. And what this will do is stop viral replication. So if a virus gets in, 
you do not want it to increase in number. So loading up with Virex during those first few days will not only shorten the amount of time that you're sick, but for many of my patients, they will say that they had a much milder cold if they even get that. Some people will actually use Virex ahead of time, just as a prophylaxis, maybe two twice a day, if somebody in your home is sick with something and you just don't wanna get it. So that's Virex. The number two as needed supplement in our level three immune support is called Sinatrol. So again, if you get a virus or a bacteria, there is a chance that it's gonna live in your sinuses. And when it gets there, that congestion and that kind of growth, especially of like some fungus, can make you feel horrible. So if you want to improve drainage and killing of what's inside that sinus cavity, Sinatrol is what you would use. You can absolutely use Virusid and Sinatrol together because many sinus infections are actually viral and not bacterial. The third supplement that I'd have you consider is Cofix. Cofix is nasal iodine, and it's been shown to kill COVID-19 virus within 30 seconds of contact. So by spraying one spray in each nostril, you get eight hours of protection. You can use this in a variety of ways. I use it all the time before I board an airplane. I'll use it if I'm going to a conference or a large gathering where I'm not sure who might be there, who might be carrying a virus that they don't know about, which by the way, this is not just specific to COVID-19, it's to any virus. So I will put that in prophylactically if I'm going to a social gathering and I'm like, oh, the Joneses always come with a cold and you know they're not paying attention if they're spreading their germs everywhere. I'll put that one spray in each nostril as a protective. You can use it as a reactive, but it works best as a protective. So there you have it three extra level three supplements that you can use to have in your medicine cabinet ready to go. If you wanted to add a fourth one, Argentin 23. Again, it's one of my medicine cabinet staples. It is colloidal silver, completely uh, safe to spray on any skin surface. So I literally will spray it into my daughter's eyes when they have the potentials or the beginnings of an eye infection, spray it in their throat when they feel the beginnings of a sore throat or they were around somebody that was sick. You can spray it in the ear or put dab a little Q-tip in and then drop some in the ear. So on wounds, it is like safe antimicrobial support great to have it in your medicine cabinet. Hope this has been helpful. Level one, two, and three support so that you can make it through cold and flu season as healthy as possible. Take care and be well.